that was our non-official DJI Robomaster S1 commercial. We want to show you guys the process of creating a commercial and what that looks like. Now, most of our projects that we do on this scale would take not too long, maybe like four, five, six hours just to film that commercial itself. That was two days of work, and we wanna show you the process of what that looked like. The first thing we gotta do is figure out what a cool commercial would look like. I think we just make some cool transitional movements with really epic like, cinematic lighting. Most commercials on TV are 15 seconds or 30 seconds. This little commercial that we're doing on our own, it's not a commercial. This is not an Robot. This is not an official commercial for DJI. We're just essentially creating something that we would want to see as a commercial. We're gonna try and capture as many unique, interesting angles as possible to grab people's eyes. Lighting will also be a big part of this. We're gonna show what these robots can do as far as they are incredibly fun to battle with and with racing. So we're gonna show both of those features and then we'll pick in the editing room what one actually plays out a little bit better. So we're gonna actually set up an arena right here in our office. You guys are used to seeing our office, so we're gonna do what's called set dressing, where we're gonna go outside and just find random things that we scouted yesterday and set up the stage for a little battle. You'll notice the location that we have set up, we didn't do a full circle, but we're gonna make it look like we set up a full barrier. We just don't have enough resources, but we're gonna fake it by looking this way and then we're gonna swap the lighting, move the props a little bit, just so it looks like we actually had a full 360. I'm back. One of my favorite features about these robots is battle mode. As they're battling, they're using infrared sensors. So I can fire with infrared, and if I hit any of these marks right here, the robot is going to take damage. <laughs> robot's taking a nap. As you're battling, you have the health mode that will bring your robot back to life. You also have the question mark that can give you a ton of new items as you're battling as well, whether that's invincibility, enhanced speed, disable this robot. So I'm stoked about the battle mode. Definitely check it out. So we're programming the robot. They give you little training courses on them too, which is super rad. You can make it go a certain distance and then at that distance it will turn. It is seriously sky's the limit. Anything you can think of, you can make these robots do. This is a, a drifting program. I want to hit play to see it go forward and then it does a drift move. I am programming a preset. That wasn't me. That was a preset. We just programmed a robot. Are your minds not blown? <laughs> I am just walking this light back and forth to kind of create this light motion in the background. It adds a really cool element to it, just movement when you don't have other things you're working with. Jeff just programmed the robot to do the same move over and over for this take that we're getting. Now, why does that matter? Well, we're pulling focus and it's hitting its marks every time. Try programming an actor, it doesn't work. So for this project is we wanted to see by adding a wet down, by making the ground wet, how it could enhance the film. But it definitely made a massive difference and just raised that production to a whole nother level. We just got done with the wet down. It took four bottles to get everything wet in our office. So Zane is behind lights once again and I'll be on camera and Jeff will be controlling both robots. What we notice is usually it takes us a couple of shots to get in the groove of like, okay, this looks sick, and then we get like really, really excited. We're doing an aperture backlight, so 120B in the background. Zane is moving it. Jeff's firing one of the robots, I'm firing one while filming, and Zane is moving the light up and down, left and right. But as you'll notice, like right now, as we're playing things back, like it looks great when it's just pure blackness, but then when Zane starts bringing in the light, like everything just pops. Target acquired. Ah! Right now, we are going to have a battle to the death. <laughs> we just wrapped filming the whole battle mode feature, which we are stoked on, and I won once again. And we're taking it to the next level, so here we go. Day number two of filming now. We filmed the battle mode stuff day one. Day two, we're focused on the racing aspects. They can race each other, you can do time trials. Right now, we wanna show time trials. We just wanna show, as you guys know, like we're creating the coolest commercial we can make with the resources that we have. We're finally getting the first shot in right now, and this is just next level, guys, because the lighting looks so much better. We're doing a spin out shot, but we just wanna make sure Zane has to hold it for it to actually spin out. Maybe it would spin out on his own, but not as dramatic and not as long. Now we're on the second location, which is actually the first location, and just by set dressing, we have the same background, but we moved the foosball table. 
we are now filming at location four, which is actually location one, two, and three. One, two, three, and four. So all within the same area, utilizing the space, but making it look like it was filmed all somewhere completely different. Our audience is used to cool, crazy, extreme stuff, so let's do the extreme thing we can do by launching it off of a table. You gotta get a pretty slow motion shot. We'll have someone in the back. We've got Jeff moving the light to make everything look super cinematic. Down here, we have the Syrup Magic Carpet, which is a slider we were using for all the low shots. The lower you can bring the camera with something moving fast, the more dramatic it's going to feel as well. Like watch Fast and the Furious movies, they're not filming like high angles, they're filming super low angles to make everything feel fast because when you have the camera close to the ground, you also have that perspective moving as well. So for this story, we did the exact same thing where the camera is really low. So if you guys are curious about the slider we used, I'll have a link down below in the video description as well. What excites me about this is not only the camera feature, but the fact that you can do a battle modes, Mario Kart style, and also time trials or races. We'll actually see we have these right here throughout the course. We have one through five. So these are checkpoints. Each time the Robo Master drives by it, it recognizes that that's part of the course and then it checks it off. Once the robot gets to the five, it instantly powers down and the race is complete. Now, let the games begin. Spin a clean up on aisle six. That is our experience filming with the DJI RoboMaster S1. Absolutely incredible experience. We showed you guys the fun aspect of it, of actually building it, programming it, babbling with it, and racing with it, and I lost all those times. But, end of the day, we all had a blast, all had fun. This is a toy, yes, but I feel it is so much more. I would definitely recommend it. It definitely is an incredible learning tool if you have kids, they're going to love this. If you're an adult, you're going to love this. I have full confidence. I'll have a link down below in the video description for all the information if you're curious on the RoboMaster S1. Thank you guys so much for watching. Over and out. That was our experience working with the RoboMaster S1. I'll have a link down below in the video description if you want to know more about this incredible product. But we had an awesome, incredible challenge making this video happen because we're so used to filming everything outside. So thank you DJI for issuing out the challenge. Thank you so much for watching. Over and out. It wasn't easy, was it? You were difficult to work with. Very difficult to work with. Don't point that at me. You know what it is.